Let's talk about the main component of a battery, the cell. There are three main types of cells for lithium ion batteries. Cylindrical cells are a very cost-effective, energy-dense way to add power to a pack, and you can add safety features like thermal protection and current interruption devices. We choose cylindrical cells for our pack since it offers the best mix of safety, cost, and performance. Pouch cells are another type of common cell. With a flexible outer coating, pouch cells allow for a lightweight, easily adaptable cell that can fit into the available spaces, but they can have issues with expansion due to aging and internal gas development. Prismatic is a compromise to a pouch cell that adds a rigid metal shell for safety and improved energy density form factor, but it does add quite a bit of cost. Also within lithium ion batteries, you have choice for cell chemistry. The chemistry of the cell affects the performance of the pack. A chemistry for higher power might have a lower cycle life, while a longer cycle life chemistry might have lower power. Nickel manganese cobalt is a good mix of power and energy density, and that's what we use today in our packs. There's a lot of discussion in the market around lithium iron phosphate, LFP, especially in the automotive space. There are trade-offs in power and energy density due to higher weight with LFP cells. But at Vanguard, we're constantly looking at options to ensure we bring the best products to market. One of the other common terms you'll hear when discussing cells is the term 18650 or 21700 cell. What does that really mean? All we're doing is describing the diameter and height of the cell in millimeters. So a 21700 cell is 21 millimeters wide by 70 millimeters tall. Hopefully this has helped answer some of your questions. Although, if you have more, we're happy to help. Visit vanguardpower.com and click on the Contact Us button. We'd be happy to help walk through any other questions you have about your application or batteries. Thank you.